Hello friends, happy Monday. Today is night two of the 12 days of Christmas in July lives. Oops, just pulled this right off of my backer here. So today we're gonna do the Christmas car attachment. Here's our 4th of July one. You can make them interchangeable. You can use Velcro, which mine came off, or you could use, um, what do you call them, magnets. So you could do it either way. I'll glue my Velcro back down here in just a second. So I just have Velcro on this side and on this side. So you need a base. The base, I believe, is 15. And then the attachments are each 15. Let me go ahead and point you guys down. I did put in the description of the video a link to this kit and also to our wait list. Ooh, wait. To our wait list, which I forgot to show you guys, to our fall workshop. So you want to get on that wait list if you want to do this. This is extremely limited. Um, that will launch on the 18th if you're on the wait list or in the paint club. And it will launch on the website on the 19th to the general public. So, all right, here we go. Can you guys see? Let me take it actually back just a little bit. There we go. And I can see comments too. This glue. I must have had like glue stuck to it last night because look, I can't even close it anymore. Too much glue. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna use my same colors from last night. Hi, Karen, how are you? So again, we use festive green, holly green, Santa red. And then I'm gonna use white some black, and I'm gonna use a tan tonight. I'm gonna use a different color than I used last night. Slightly different color, but the rest of it's gonna be all the same. I think I'm gonna try this one tonight. This one is called Coco. You know what I didn't do is get out my sponges or anything. I did not sleep very good last night. I only slept for a couple hours, so. Kind of dragging today was my first day back to work after a 10 day vacation. And then like I said, I only slept for like three or four hours last night. So I didn't even work out today. Just kind of barely making it through. Anyways. All right, cut some sponges here. I'm gonna cut the ends or the tips, whatever. The edges off that have already been used. I don't clean the sponges, I just cut the edges off and reuse them until they're no longer reusable. And I reuse the other side of these too. So they definitely get used. All right, let me go ahead and take this off of here. So our background's gonna be done in red. Let me see what other red I've got. I have this country red. I feel like I like this better. Let me check it out. Hello, Rachel. Uh, they're pretty similar actually when I put them out here. All right, we'll see, maybe we'll stick with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my entire background in red to start. And go around my tires. Those will have to get, I'll have to fix that because I feel like I went too far into my tire, but that's all right, we can do that in a minute. I did finally just Later this afternoon, right after work, finally got the um, the replay posted to YouTube from yesterday. So if you guys didn't catch me live here, it's still on the page. You can probably find it, but it is easier to find by going to my YouTube channel. So just subscribe over there. Didn't sleep well either. Oh goodness. Oh wow, two million? That's crazy. Yeah, my friend's going on a cruise soon, and she just mentioned the hurricanes. Honestly, I'm, it's probably really bad to say, but I didn't even know what was going on until she mentioned that. So, just had a lot of stuff going on and haven't paid much attention to the outside world lately. You still have power? All good? Oh, yeah, all good at your house. Good. I'm glad you're still good. That's just crazy though, that's a lot of people. We had really bad storms here a couple weeks ago. It's been about two weeks now. So the week before I went on vacation, um, 
one of the towns, one of the beach towns a little bit north of here was closed down. My office was actually closed down for three days. There was no power. We don't get, we don't get ones like that very often. Hi, Pamela. All right, so there's my background. I'm not gonna paint this. It's gonna have the 3D piece on it. I'm gonna wait to do those in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my tree, getting some green on that. I wonder what I did with my paint brushes last night. I thought I stuck them right in here. Oh, they're there. I'm gonna go with the dark green first. Probably gonna need a couple of coats. We ended up figure. oops, that should be brown. We ended up figuring that out last night that it needed more than one coat of the green to be the color that I wanted, so. These are acrylics. These are, um, what do you call them? American, oh, Americana from Deco Art. The chalk paints, I do feel like they cover better than um, the acrylics, but I do like their paints as well. So here's my tree stump, right? That should have been, should have been done in brown. And actually, I don't know that I like that color. Let's let it sit. I might, after a couple of coats, it might be what I want it to look like. I go ahead and I'm gonna do this in red. I forgot to do that while we were doing the rest. And it looks like I'm gonna need more paint. Hey, Ruby. pieces of uh, the towel coming up on top of my my wood piece with my brush. All right, I'm gonna let that dry a minute. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go right into it with my dry brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and offload some and I'm gonna do like I did yesterday. Kind of add some dry brushing to make it a little bit more rustic around this part just to give it some dimension. Hello Vicky. All right then I will go ahead and do my tires. Hey Vicky. Just got black paint on my towel. I didn't mean to do that. I try to be careful with the black paint because it does smear pretty easily. It's all right. Hopefully I don't go back in the same spot and make a big mess. All right, I'm gonna hit it with a dryer. Maybe that'll help. looking so far obviously this needs some more work that's not done yet but that's super it's gonna be super cute had a bunch of green paint on the edge there that I wasn't aware of okay I'm gonna make these white like the inside parts of the tires And for white, I am using a chalk paint. I like to use chalk paint for white instead of acrylic because I feel like it covers so much better. Sometimes I still want two coats, but white acrylic paint takes so many coats, I feel like. No matter which brand I've used, it just doesn't cover very good. Oops. Just 
going to fix this. I dropped it and got some, some little marks on it. Okay. Go back over here to my little wooden color, and I'm going to paint my little sign here. It says cedar, pine, and spruce. Did you guys see, do I have, mm -hmm, I put the ornaments up, the ornaments from yesterday. I guess really that's okay because if I try to keep all 12 projects on my desk throughout this whole thing and reshow them, it's going to get pretty cluttered up here and I'm not going to have much room to paint. So I did post the finished picture earlier, so you guys should have been able to see it. Go find it on the website if you need to. All right, we've got this teeny tiny tree that goes um, it goes on the car between the words tree farm. So it's a tree, I'm gonna make it green, do a couple coats on there. Try this again, that didn't cover. There you go, it's doing better this time. Probably still do one more on that maybe, we'll see. I do wanna get a little bit more green out. And I think to start off, I'm just doing the dark green instead of mixing them or blending them. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. Now I have to fix it again. That's all right. So now I'll go in with the same brush and I just put both greens on the same brush and then I just try to make it look dimensional. Try to kind of make it look like actual tree. Can you guys see that on there? So up close it's really goopy and gross looking. I'll let it dry as much as I can on its own before I hit it with a dryer to keep some of that dimension but We'll probably have to dry it with the dryer because it's going to be, it's really thick. All right, let me grab some tape. Where did I put my tape? Huh. I thought that I had some out, but I must have used it all. Frog tape. This is the best. This is actually thicker than my other one. Better than the skinnier tape. So I just take a piece off, roll it around like so, and then you can put your letters on there or any little pieces to make it easier to paint. Goodness, 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 I had too much on there. So now the edges are gross looking. I thought I offloaded it, but I did not offload enough of it. That's all right. Just gonna continue on now. You know what, it kind of just looks like snow because it's so messy. But I do think I'll do a second coat. So I'm gonna let that sit a second. And then, so these are done drying. getting close. It's going to be so cute. Drying my little tree right now. I don't think I've ever used the dryer over top of tape. I don't know what that does to it. I would assume it dries it out, but hopefully it doesn't do anything else to it. 
So yeah, if you're trying to prevent getting um, paint on the edges of your letters or the edges of your project, don't make sure you use a little bit of glue, or uh, not glue, uh, paint and offload it because I made a huge mess here. But I think it's gonna turn out good. I'm gonna dry this big tree a minute. Every purchase this month um, does include, every order, I should say, does include an ornament, DIY ornament. So it will just be one of the random ones. If you order a set of ornaments, I'll try to give you a, uh, something different than what you've ordered. So you're getting a variety, um, but that's not guaranteed. But I'll certainly try. All right, here we go. You guys, this one is super quick. Almost done with it. Oh, I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm not quite sure that I'm finished with the tree. So let's put our little, whatever these are called on our tires. This replay will not be, uh, the replay will be up immediately, but the YouTube version of it will not be up until sometime tomorrow. My computer's upstairs in the other office, so. I think that's good. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try to stick some glue on here without gluing my fingers together. These are teeny tiny letters. Skinny little letters. I glue my fingers together with the fat letters, so. Imagine by the time I'm done with this, I will be stuck. I'm glad you all can make it live. Anybody that's been here live with me or is here live with me right now, I appreciate it. I'll be live again tomorrow night at around seven and Wednesday night at around seven and then we'll pick back up again next week. So I figured instead of the very first year that I did 12 days of Christmas, we did it all in a row. And by the end, it was just very, it was a lot. So we don't do it all in a row anymore. I think last year I did it, I think I only did 10 days of Christmas last year instead of 12 and I did two weeks, five days in a row, which was still a lot. So I decided to break it up and we'll do it like all month long. Um, four days a week for three weeks in a row. So yeah, you'll be able to find me here again tomorrow night. So if you're not following me yet, make sure you give us a follow. So hopefully Facebook gives you a notification when we go live, but that doesn't always happen either. Um, all right, let's see. I'm just eyeballing it, trying to, oh wait, there's a you guys don't have to eyeball it. As I'm sitting here looking at it, there is an etch spot that shows you right where to put it. Do not eyeball it. It's there. All right. Look how cute this is. I think it's super cute. I'm going to put some, I think, we're going to see if it works. I'm going to do some little ornaments on our tree. They should show up. It should look pretty good. You got your paint club today. Woohoo! Are you excited? I'm excited for this one. I think this one will be fun. All right, I think three colors for my ornaments is going to be enough. So I'm just going to use the back of my paintbrush. Three. I'm 
just going to kind of randomly put them on here. There is a piece of <laughs> I better not mess with it. There's a piece of um Oh my goodness, there it is. Can I get it? I can almost get it, but it's stuck. There we go. It did. It kind of distorted my circle. Oh well. It was um a piece of the hair from the brush. Literally, I'm just randomly putting them wherever and I'm not even following my rule. I typically do like the triangle rule or whatever to try to evenly space out my dots. I'm not doing that this time. I'm just kind of putting them wherever they land. I feel like I need one more. All right, I think that's good. I think those turned out cute. That's actually a green color, but it looks yellow on here. I'm going to try to dry them and keep them in circles. hold this here for just a second so it doesn't shift at all. If you wanted to use different size light or Christmas bulbs on your tree, you could use just different size like a skinnier brush end. I just wanted mine to all be big bulbs. So there we go. And then let me put it on my base for you guys so you can see it. Clean up my mess here a little bit. Just to give myself some space. All right. So that's all I painted on mine. I painted the base and I painted up here where like the window part is at. And then I will have to grab out some Velcro to keep it on there. But look how cute that turned out. I'll take you guys up so that I can see you. Where did I put my Velcro? I move my stuff around and when I do that, I trick myself. I can't find it. What did I do with it? I found it. All right, what kind do I need? I need the soft side. I had bought a ton of industrial strength Velcro a while a while back, like, gosh, it's been a while now. It's probably been a couple years. I'm still going through it. I just cut off what I need. I used to have it sitting on my desk, but it was getting a little too out of control and was making a mess, so I moved that and tricked myself. So what I do is I just stick my Velcro on here, and then I'll remove the backs, the sticky side. And then I put my front piece on it. Stick around, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then I'll show you the fall workshop kit again. If you're not on that wait list page, you wanna go fill that out. Um, the workshop will be launching on the 18th to my paint club members and to anybody on that wait list. Oh my goodness, I can't get this piece off of here. 
It's the only downside of doing it this way is sometimes the Velcro does get, or the, not the Velcro, the sticky part does get stuck to it. It's gonna come off, but it's gonna take a minute. I'm gonna do it this way. Hey, Pam. Why is it so stinking sticky? Now I got paint fingerprints all over my back. It's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. You see all those little tiny hairs from the Velcro? See them, I get all over. Just have to blow them off of there. All right. Now I just want to line it up, make sure that it's on where it needs to go before I push it down. And I just pinch it on there. Hello. All right, there is our project from tonight. I have that kit for this linked. Um, I have the front part of it linked on the video. You do need the backer, so if you don't have that yet, you'll need to purchase that separately as well. Um, but this is it finished. And then for those of you who are just hopping on or maybe just finding us, this is what our fall workshop is going to be. These kits are extremely limited. They're gonna launch on the 18th if you're on that list. Um, if you wanna get in, you're probably gonna wanna purchase them right away. If there are any leftover after the weekend, the prices will increase. Again, if you're on that wait list, you have first dibs, or if you're in the paint club, you get first dibs. So there you have it, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow night around seven o'clock for night three for our 12 days of Christmas in July. Bye, everybody.